Hey, everyone, and welcome to Celebrity Interviews Live from the Grotto. I'm your host, Greg Hanna, and I'm very excited to welcome Hollywood big screen and streaming media actor, Jesse Cove. He's with our show today. Hey, Jesse, how you doing? Hey, man, how are you? Thanks for having me. Awesome. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, tell me about your role in Cobra Kai season three as David. What was that like? Uh, well, David was um, a great character. Uh, there he is right there. Um, that's Varsity Captain David in Cobra Kai. Um, he was a lot of fun to play. I mean, he was, uh, I'm funny if I was just at an, uh, a Comic-Con in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee uh, over the weekend, uh, we were signing autographs and obviously everybody loves Captain David from Cobra Kai. And uh, he's a great character. You know, he's, he's, he's got a history, you know, he's definitely a bully. Um, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's kind of like a man's man in the sense where, you know, he likes to fight. And not necessarily that that's a good thing, but you know he um, he's definitely a bully. Uh, I do enjoy playing villain uh, villainous characters. Uh, it's something that's in my wheelhouse. I definitely enjoy that. And you know he's uh, he's insecure about you know someone trying to take his girl uh, Betsy over <laughs> here. And uh, what better adversary than than young John Kreese? Yeah, fantastic. That's been great season. I've been enjoying uh, watching that. Um, let's let's talk about the movies for a bit. You know, Wings of Eagles. Uh, how did you get that role, and what inspired you to take it? Well, on Wings of Eagles came about. I knew the producer, and they had me read for it. And um, you know, it's it's a period piece, and obviously, I love period. This is it right here. Um, uh, this is a uh, character's name is Hugh Johnson, and um, it was we shot this in China for almost three months. Uh, it was a Chinese American co-production, huge movie. It was like a fifteen million dollar budget. It was huge, um, and I love doing World War II. You know, any kind of period piece. I, that's my my favorite thing to do. And the subject matter was amazing. It's actually the unofficial sequel to Chariots of Fire, and it's all about the true story of how Eric Little became a missionary in an internment camp in China uh, just before World War II started. And when the Japanese invaded China, you know, these are Japanese soldiers invading us. And I was a, just an American businessman in China at the time. And uh, this is the woman who I fall in love with, uh, Augusta Zhu Holland is her name. And, uh, you know, we end up being in this prison camp together. And, you know, I worked with Joseph Fiennes, who's, you know, such an incredible, incredible actor. I mean, he's just he's one of the one of the best actors that we have today. Um, and uh, that's there he is there. This was the one of the posters that they used um, in in the actual um, PR uh, campaign in China. And you know, working with him was unbelievable. It was like working with like a Christian Bale or something. Yeah. You know, just uh, such a thespian. He and I lost a lot of weight together for this movie. You know, we were on the treadmill every day, eating very little food because we had to be very very skinny for this for this um, for this movie. And uh, it's a great story. It's a great story. I, you know, I definitely encourage anybody to watch it. It's got a beautiful spiritual um, element to it as well. And, uh, it's, you know, great story of triumph and, and heartache and, and, and love and war. And, and uh, one of, it's probably one of my the best experience I think I've ever had doing doing a movie. Uh, phenomenal. Let's talk about another role you had, uh, Jacob, in the movie uh, Taste of Love. Uh, what drew you to play that role? Uh, well, there's Jacob. <laughs> Um, there's Aaron Cahill. Uh, we shot this in Dunedin, Florida. Uh, this is a scene we had on the beach. Um, this is the first time I've done this, by the way, with the backgrounds behind me. I think it's, it's really awesome, easy. right? Uh, it helps people see what we're talking about. I love uh, it. Love working with Aaron. Such a beautiful movie. Uh, really, such a heartwarming story. You know, Aaron's a chef who comes back to her hometown in Florida to kind of see her family and the family's restaurant business is they're selling it and she doesn't want them to sell it. And then she, you know, she rekindles her love with, with me, um, you know, Jacob, her old boyfriend from when she was a child. And, you know, there's drama that happens there. It's just a beautiful story. You know, you watch this movie and your heart, it just pull on your heartstrings, you know, when you watch it and, and the location where we, I mean, this, look at this location. I mean, we shot this in, in an area called Dunedin, right next to Clearwater in Florida, just so beautiful. I felt like I was on vacation <laughs> doing this movie. It was this, this also was one of the best experiences I've had making a movie. And Erin, of course, was just so lovely to work with. You know, she she's a Hallmark star uh, as, as, you know, as beautiful as they come and, and sweet as they come, uh, just a joy to work with. 
Oh, that's fantastic. Well, you know, you talked about a man's man. So let's pop over to your pops. You know, what was it like growing up, you know, in a Hollywood family having Martin Cove as your dad? You know, it, it, it's been really great having my dad, you know, uh, in the business. It's been a lot of fun. He never pushed me into being in the business. You know, I always kind of, I fell into it uh, as I, as I, you know, as I got older and I, I loved entertaining the family growing up and, you know, this was essentially my life, right? It was, this, it was the Hollywood, it was the Hollywood life. But, you know, we also stayed very grounded. I loved going outdoors and riding horses. My dad loved to travel. He took me to sets with him around the world. Um, again, never pushed me to be in the business. When I was about, you know, when I was in middle school and high school, I was always in the in the school plays and in the film and cinema classes. I just loved it. I loved making movies with my soldiers and explosions, <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah. Um, and it was just i love creating and so now you know now i kind of get to do it on, the, on a bigger scale so i'm still the same kid making these movies but i get to do it on a bigger scale which is really you know just a dream and i'm, I'm so grateful and humbled by it all um and uh you know my dad and i work really well together we, we have each other's backs you know it's a very tough business you know you know people think that like because i grew up in the business everything was handed to me you know yeah. it isn't like I go on auditions like everybody else. I even auditions for the same for, for parts that my dad's the my the movies my dad is in, you know, and um, and vice versa. Like if I do a movie like I did this movie called D Day uh, Battle of Omaha Beach, um, I'll actually pull it up right here. Uh, this was a, another uh, World War II movie that I did, um, and uh, all about the Battle of, of D Day. Um, I kind of cut off here, but anyway, my dad came to visit the set. And I was like, "Can we just write something in for him? He'd love to be in this movie. He's never done a World War II movie." And they're like, "Yeah, let's let's figure out something." And so he and I had this great scene together. It was just just fantastic, wow. um, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. You know, and it's nice to have those moments with him because they last forever. You know, it's, I love being on camera with him. He gives me notes. I give him notes, and it's just a wonderful, uh, wonderful team. Ah, that's phenomenal. It, just like this one that you just popped up, are there any other uh, recent roles you'd like to talk about that we haven't yet? Yes. Um, oh, God, there's so many that I forgot to upload on here. But um, there is uh, another film. Um, I have six projects that are coming out in the next, <clears throat> in the next, uh, I'd say, three to f three to six months. Um, I got two guest stars. Um, I was on Magnum P.I. I was on a new series called Blue Ridge, uh, created by Gary Wheeler. Um, uh, with Jonathan Sheck, uh, great new show. Um, I've got a Christmas movie coming out called Christmas Traditions um, with Tatiana Ali, great actress. She comes from, she was, you know, in um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Uh, I've also got a great Western that I'm very excited about coming out September 3rd called Far Haven. Stars Bailey Chase, uh, directed by Gary Wheeler as well. My dad's in that too. Great Western, super excited. I would have I would have put this up behind me. I didn't have a picture. Um, great Western, super excited about it. Uh, again, called Far Haven, comes out September 3rd. Another uh, Taste of Love, which we talked about, hasn't come out yet. Um, also, another action comedy I just did with uh, Sean Patrick Flannery, Jake Busey, and Dermot Mulroney. Uh, really fun action comedy, crazy movie, very Tarantino-esque called um, Killing Mary Sue. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, a lot of great projects. Uh, again, I'm just super grateful for, for all the work that's come my way. Um, and yeah, everybody can, you know, I, I post all the updates about what I'm doing on my Instagram, my social media, which is, you know, Jesse Cove, J-E-S-S-E-K-O-V. So everybody can follow me there if they want to see it all. Cool, that's fantastic. You know, you brought up two things that are pretty interesting to me. First, Magnum PI. Did, did you ever watch the Tom Selleck version, you know, and reruns? Oh yeah, of course, of course. And then of course, uh, Karate Kid, the movies. Uh, yep. Was that something you guys watched? Uh, of course, we absolutely watched that growing up. I mean, it was, uh, it was something, I've probably seen that movie, I mean, maybe more than anyone else. Um, <laughs> Uh, it was definitely on in the house. We like to watch it. Was it was a fun, it's it's a great movie. I can you know I see it yeah. from a um, a, a um, outsider's perspective as well. You know it's um, it's just one of those classic movies that you know would stand the test of time. You know, yeah, hundred percent. All right, here's here's one for you. You know, take the time if you need it. If you had the undivided attention of the entire planet for five minutes, what would you want to say to us? Wow, that's a really good one. Um, the undivided attention for five minutes. Uh, probably just spread more love. 
you know, be kind. I think be kind to each other. I think that's a really important one. You know, c- c- to share kindness. I think, you know, we're in such a, everything in life is so fast paced and everyone's always on the move trying to do things. And I think everybody just kind of forgets to take time and also just be kind to one another, you know? Yeah, 100%. Um, so you did mention Insta uh, just a few minutes ago, but where can people get in touch and check out all your projects? Uh, do you have a website? And you mentioned Instagram. What else you got going? Uh, by the way, this is Far Haven. Um, oh, nice. Put that up there so people can kind of see that as well. Um, that's me and Bailey Chase. Um, and uh, it's a um, great project. Uh, at Jesse Cove, everywhere, you know, follow me at Jesse Cove, J E S S E K O V E. That's always the best thing. I'm always on there. I'm super active. Love to chat with fans and um, always talk about the projects I got coming up and when they come out. No, that's phenomenal. Well, I have one last question. That's kind of my signature question. But before I do that, is yeah. there anything else that you want to cover or you want to bring up or talk about that we haven't yet? Um, my dad and I have a comic book that we've created called Prodigal Son. People can find more information about that by going to kickstarter.com and typing Prodigal Son or Martin Cove and they can give us a follow. We got a lot of cool perks that we're giving away and it's, it's really an exciting um, uh, uh, create creative aspect that we're doing uh, together. Um, and we're also turning that into a series as well. So Prodigal Son is something that we're really proud of. Perfect. All right, here it is. So this is for me personally, so I can always be better. And for anybody who happens to listen to this episode, uh, so so tell me, what's the most important thing in life you feel you've ever learned? Um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm still learning. Um, you know, something that I, I I think is very important is, you know, just don't take anything for granted. You know, always, you know, take time to. You know, if you're in the house, or if you have a wife or a boyfriend or whatever, you know, uh, husband, mom, dad, child, you know, take those little moments to like really look at them and appreciate them. You know, we're always running through life so so fast. I feel like it's important just to like stop and like really just be in the moment because um, moments are moments are everything. That's all we have. You give up everything to have those moments. I gotcha. Gotcha. Well, Jesse, you know, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you. And, uh, you know, thanks all of you fans for watching and listening to Celebrity Interviews live from the Grotto. Take care. Bye, guys.